When it was time to leave high school, like uh, all musicians at the time, I moved to uh, Boston College, Boston, to attend the Berklee College of Music, which is why I'm playing the Standells' Dirty Water as my musical leitmotif, by the way. And the great thing about Berkeley was like all the musicians you met, man. I was living in, in a small town of Vermont at the time, and I was the, the only guy that could play bass. And I was a junior in high school playing in a Dartmouth frat band, and I had all the top 40 gigs at the ski resorts. And then I met two other bass players at Berkeley the first day. One was a guy by the name of Baron Brown, who plays with Jean Luc Ponty and Billy Cobham and Vital Information. And the other was Victor Bailey. Right, who replaced Jock on Weather Report. And for a, I wasn't just from the sticks, I was from two sticks. I was from Champaign, Illinois, and Norwich, Vermont. Right, and uh, it was just amazing to meet these talented musicians from around the world. And the uh, second week I was there, I heard stories about this guitar player that was supposed to be really good, and then every time he played, he, he blew up his amplifier. I, I was 18 years old, and I was like, that is so cool. I gotta meet this guy. So I found out where he was playing. It was practice room E17 of the Mass Ave building at, at uh, Berkeley. And there was a big crowd of people around and I said, man, who is that guy? And they said, well, that's that guitar player from Long Island. That's, you know, that new kid, that's Steve Vai. So here comes the hardest part of the evening for me. Here's how we see how long I can vamp in 7-8 and speak English legibly. <laughs> I'm getting better though. So I met Steve and uh, we had this band called Morning Thunder and uh, I played on his demo tapes that he sent to Zappa. And then Steve moved to California to get the job as uh, Zappa's transcriber and I went on the road with an Elvis Presley impersonator based out of Newport News, Virginia. His name was L. John. Why, you ask? Good question. His name was John the Francis. Get it? So L. L. John. It was awful. But this was 1978, you know, and uh, so we did like three Elvis shows and four dance sets a night at the Holiday Inns in Morgantown, West Virginia for, I think, 200 bucks a base. And, ended up in California. Like all the loose ends, I ended up rolling down to Southern California. And we did the album Flexible, and uh, since then I've lived in California ever since, I guess, 1983 or so. I was in LA, I was in San Francisco for 20 years, and I guess I'm back in LA now, sort of up in the air. But the best thing about my life, man, is that I've been able to travel the world, but you just wouldn't believe that crazy places I've been. I've been to Vladivostok and Tel Aviv and the Galapagos Islands and it's crazy all because I work really hard and I sometimes have good ideas and because I practice a lot. Oh. 